Bradley here at Simply Rustic by Stamen and Sons and we've got a little bit of a change of scenery for you today. We're in my dining room. I needed a new mic or so for in the van. Um, so I decided to go for something. I was looking for something compact, something with a small footprint. So I didn't want a sliding mic or so like what I was in there. Because if you look at my previous videos, you'll see that my bench has to be so deep to allow for the sliding mechanism on the mic or so that I already had. So I wanted something that didn't have that sliding, we don't need it. We only really cut pallet wood up in the van, so it's just really not needed to have that big cutting space. Um, so we wanted something with a smaller footprint, um, and we ended up going for this. Now, I know what you're thinking, Lee, you've bought a sliding miter saw, but there is method to my madness. The plan is eventually to have the, the sliding section actually cut off. I know what you're thinking, why buy a sliding miter saw if you're just gonna cut the sliders off? But the Von House 20 volt max cordless miter saw works with all my other Von House 20 volt max tools and batteries. So that means that when I'm working in the van, even if I can't have power hook up at the customer's house or wherever I'm working, I've also got a miter saw added to all my other drills and saws and grinders and everything that I've already got. And it all works on the same batteries, but they don't do a static miter saw, which is compatible with the 20 volt max range. So that's the reason we went for this and we're gonna to have to modify it. But today I'm gonna to unbox it, um, review it, and then we're gonna modify it at the end of the video. But I do have a job at home to do, hence me sitting here. So we thought, why not review it whilst doing that job? So here is the saw. Let's get it unboxed and see what's included. Done. Um, obviously, it has got some little out feed pieces, but I'm not going to bother putting them on. Um, this is going to go straight into my workbench, which has already got out feed built into it, so I don't need those. Um, dust collection bag again, I'll be using that tonight, but it will be going on to my uh, dust extraction system in the van. But for tonight, while we're testing it, that can go on, try and keep dust down. And also a clamp for clamping your wood. Um, you should use this. I'm not going to. The main thing we want to do from this review is test the angles and the cutting power. Let's have a look. So this runs off the 20 volt max battery the same as all the other Bond House tools, which I'm going to do a review video for them all together. Um, some of them are absolutely brilliant. One in particular is absolutely terrible, but most of them are really good for an entry level um, power tool. I wouldn't even say they're entry level, they're just really good. They're really good tools and I can't complain with them at all. So let's see if this fares up to the rest of them. Nice and quiet compared to its big brother. Now, if you're wondering why we've got loads of random pieces of pallet wood stuck to a wall, then you can watch that video, which is what to do with your scraps of wood. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. But for today, let's see how well the Von House 20 volt max cordless saw cuts. to leave some of that slider on by the looks of it. I think we need to test it on a thicker piece of wood because it went through that better than its 240 volt Big Brother wood. I'm 
we'll do a couple of cuts with it now. Um, it's performing really, really well, and I would say almost as good as, if not better, than its 240 volt Big Brother. Um, I don't know where I'm going to take the slider off it now, and I do need to do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Because of the compactness of this saw, I think it's going to save me enough space in the van without modifying it. And I'd hate to chop it and then one day think what I could have done with that and regret it afterwards. So I'll say I'll do a couple more cuts with it now so we can get this wall finished off. And then I'm going to tomorrow take this down and do a side-by-side -side comparison for size, cutting. And I've got all my tools down there to actually make sure all the cuts are coming out square and the blade square to the to the bed. Let's see how it performs again. actually cut much easier and much smoother than the bigger one I've got from of the same brand. I think I'm gonna leave it how it is. We'll see what we'll see tomorrow. I'm gonna to, so we'll do a side by side comparison, see how much save space I'm gonna save in the van without cutting it down. Um, and we may end up taking a little bit off those sliders but I think we'll uh, we'll see tomorrow. Right, sorry for the absence, not that you've noticed it because you're still watching the same video but I completely forgot about coming down to the unit and doing a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. So I know I said at the beginning of the video I was going to modify this, uh, cut this back and that would mean the whole thing could slide all the way back in the van giving me a much shallower bench space, thus more room for delivering items, storing stuff, whatever I need to do in the van. But after using it I found that it doesn't go all the way through a piece of pallet wood unless you slide slightly. So then I've come up with the, I mean, maybe we could still cut some off and give it half the slide, but this is set up now. And already, when you drop this into the van, I've got the same depth bench in the van because it was built for this, this mitre saw. And this fits perfectly in because the actual base is exactly the same. So it fits into my bench perfectly. And I've already saved about 120 mil. Now, 125 mil, that doesn't sound like a lot, but in a van, 125 mil over an eight foot bench is quite a bit of extra space. I mean, it's I can get an extra, if I don't stack them very nicely, four sheets of ply. In reality, I could get even more if they're stacked up nicely because of the space I'm saving on the bench. So I don't see a need to modify this. I really don't see the point. Because we've already saved so much dropping back, is there gonna be a day where I suddenly go, I wish I never modified that <sighs> because I need the full cup size. I mean, I said I'd do a bit of a side by side comparison. This is brilliant. This battery lasts ages, and because all my other tools are Bond House as well in the van, I've got battery after battery after battery, so I'm never going to run out of power. Now, there is a few differences between the two saws. This has got a 10 inch blade, this has only got a 7 inch blade. This has got a 255mm cut, this has only got 185mm cut. This one runs about 3,500 RPM, whereas, no, this one runs at 3,500 RPM. This one is more like 5,500 RPM. But this is so overkill for the van. The only thing I do in the van is go out and build pallet walls. So I'm cutting pieces of pallet. Now, when I was working in the van and I was stuck in the van because we was on full lockdown, you weren't allowed to leave the house, I just dropped this one in there quickly and built the bench to suit. But now I can rejig the bench, make the bench a little bit smaller. I can run fully on battery power in the van now, apart from my table saw, which I very rarely use when I'm doing when I'm out doing the jobs that I would normally do in my van. So it means it gives me the full freedom of not having to have an electrical hookup. And I just don't see the point in modifying it. This saw is brilliant. It's really good. It actually cuts pallet wood better than this saw. It's it's so you know it's such a good little saw. I really. I, I can't really fault them. I actually prefer using this than I do the big one. Um, it's got all the same, you know, mod cons. I can still go 45 each way, 45 each way, you know, exactly the same as its big brother. It's got a laser sight, not that I use it, but it's it's there and it's and it's accurate, it's square. I'd almost nearly get rid of it. If I didn't need this for the bigger cuts, what I do in the workshop, I'd almost nearly get rid of it for, for one of these because it, I actually do genuinely prefer how this cuts. Um, you know, it goes, 
does throw stuff like butter. I just really didn't think it'd be that good. Exactly a big piece of wood, but it cuts really well, and the battery lasts such a long time. I think it's a four amp power battery we've got in there. Yes, we've got a four amp power battery, that's the biggest battery that one house do, but they're perfectly adequate. Even the smaller 1.5 amp power batteries actually seem to run my tools better. I do have some Ryobi One, and their 1.5 amp power batteries are absolutely useless they're just neither use nor ornament there's no point in having them whatsoever and then my 1.5 amp hour batteries actually run my von house power tools better than my 1.5 amp hour batteries run my on my ryobi one um so they're not actually a bad set of tools once i am going to do once i've got my big workbench built up i am going to do a full because i've now got a full set of these uh the von house 20 volt max range uh, so I'm going to do a full, because there are some pros and some cons, but they're, they're not a bad set of tools. Um, sorry, but I'm not modifying this saw now. As I say, I've saved 125 mil, and I think I'm happy with that. And I think I'm going to kick myself, even if even if I take away half the slide, to maybe get it so we can get it that far back. Am I going to kick myself, you know, down the line to save another 80 mil? And am I going to kick myself to you know getting that 80 mil and then losing all that extra slide it just doesn't seem feasible to me you know for what for what i'm going to gain in the van i just think i've already gained myself 120 mil i can take off the bench in the van now i think that's enough and um, i don't think there's any point in modifying this in any way just to maybe gain myself another 80 mil and and then realize you know six months down the line that there is that one job I needed to cut something that's that bit bigger I can't do it you know now I've got to finish it off with a handsaw or turn it around and, and risk losing accuracy so I'm going to leave this little beauty exactly as it is um, if you're looking say if you're looking for a, a cordless mic saw I would recommend it it is very good the battery life is brilliant it cuts brilliantly and um, you're not going to cut through you know a great slab of oak or anything with it but especially if you're working at home or if you're working somewhere. I mean, look at it. Look how cute it is. It's tiny, it's so small. And that, that's it, that's done. You know, you just lift that in, take it with you. And I would actually see myself using this more than this. For the work that I do, you know, I do, I mainly do work with, with pallets and replaying woods. I don't tend to work with big, chunky, thick materials, you know, where, where this, this size is required. I can see me actually using this more than it's 240 volt big brother it is a brilliant little saw um it's accurate you just yeah i can't, I can't complain with it really um cons i ain't found any i really haven't found any um you know you could say the the cut size is a con you could say you know but you know what you're buying when you buy this saw it's not a big saw if you're expecting a big cut from it then you're not going to get that but as far as the saw goes, it's a brilliant little saw and I actually prefer using it to, to its bigger version. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's that video finished off. I've got a few more videos that I need to finish off, so I might even you might even see me popping in with my orange clothes on in the end of a couple of videos because I might do a few more tonight. Who knows? Stay safe everyone. If you've enjoyed the video guys, please do hit the subscribe button. We've got other tool review videos on the channel that you can watch and we've also got new tool review videos coming out all the time. We also do woodworking videos occasionally between me actually trying to build this workshop and review all the tools. Believe it or not, I do actually play with wood sometimes and there are going to be loads of videos for that coming out in the future. And also back on the channel, check out the other videos. Simple woodworking for simple woodworkers like me. And that's it from me and my mitosaurs, guys.